Hi friends, welcome to my channel Interesting Engineering. Today let's discuss about Megom Bridge method for uh, resistance measurement. Before entering into the topic, we shall discuss a sh we shall have a short preview on our previous videos. Since because uh, I have loaded uh, videos a uh, long time back. So in our previous videos we were discussing about a resistance measurement. So those resistance measurement are classified under three broad categories. Low resistance measurement, medium resistance measurement and high resistance measurement. This category is based on the value of resistances that is to be measured. So when the value uh, of resistance is less than 1 ohms, it comes under the low resistance values and it have certain methods and the values between uh, 1 ohm to 0.1 mega ohm, it is a medium resistance category and it too have uh, various methods for measuring such values and high resistance values or value of resistance greater than 0.1 mega ohm and these two have a a variety of methods. So in that let us discuss about high resistance measurement. So in high resistance measurement also we have various methods such as loss of charge method, direct deflection method, Megger and Megohm bridge. So in uh, let us discuss about Megohm bridge method of resistance measurement. As the name itself suggests this is the mega ohm uh, measurement that is it measures me uh, resistance about 0.1 mega ohms to 10 power 6 mega ohms and this method have accuracy of about 3 percentage to 10 percentage. That is while measuring high resistance in the lower end range it have accuracy of about 3 percentage and for measuring uh, high resistance values in the higher end range it has a accuracy of about 10 percentage. So as the name suggests this is a bridge method. So uh, yet uh, uh, we all know any bridge uh, operates under the principle of bridge balance concept. So as we all know a bridge consists of four resistive arms of which two will be the fixed arm resistances, one is the variable arm resistance and the fourth arm will consists of a resistance whose value is to be measured. So any bridge circuit operates under the principle of null, de uh, null deflection that is the bridge balance concept. So uh, this is the mega ohm bridge circuit. So as we all know a resistance will have two terminals. A and B or the main terminal and in the case of high resistance there will be one more terminal called the guard terminal. So a high resistance consists of three terminals, two will be the main terminal and one will be the guard terminal. So when we connect a, a, a high resistance in a bridge circuit, uh, if it has two terminals we can easily connect it with the bridge circuit whereas since it has a three terminal we need um, some sort of modifications in our connection. So uh, this is the unknown resistance R so that is the high resistance that we are going to measure and here we have a guard terminal. So uh, connecting to the guard terminal we have two more resistances RAG and RBG. Let us see how to connect it in a bridge circuit. So as we all know this is a bridge circuit where we have four resistive arms and which is sub, uh, applied by a power supply and it has a uh, detector called the galvanometer. So this P and Q resistance or the fixed arm resistances S will be the variable arm resistance and this is the unknown resistance whose uh, value to be measured. So here this A and B terminal are called the main terminal and one more terminal we have called the guard terminal. So we can have uh, we have different sort of connections in this megohm bridge to eliminate the error. So uh, this is the first connection where we, uh, the guard terminal is placed here and uh, it is placed at the center part. So uh, there will be three resistances connecting these three terminals. So this is the unknown resistance what we are going to measure and the guard terminal will be having two more resistances. So when we uh, make use of the uh, equivalent resistance concept that is when we look at this circuit these two are in series whereas the entire combination is in parallel with this unknown resistance. So when we measure the equivalent resistance uh, how to measure equivalent resistance? So 
when we have two resistance in series we need to sum those resistances so 100 plus 100 will be 200 mega ohms here we have 100 mega ohm this 200 mega ohm is in parallel with this 100 mega ohm so r equivalent will be equal to 200 into 100 divided by 200 plus 100 so when we calculate we get it as 67 mega ohms so the equivalent resistance what we are getting is 67 mega ohms but the resistance what we are having here is 100 mega ohm so when we connect in this manner we have a error of about 33 percentage so this is a uh, higher value of error so to eliminate this error we go for another type of connection so we go for another connection so look here so this guard terminal is uh, placed here so in our uh, next modification we are going to connect this g terminal to this point b so when we connect to this point b this 100 ohms will be in parallel with the resistance p and this 100 mega ohms is in parallel with this galvanometer g so when this g terminal is connected with this b terminal we have 100 mega ohm parallel with p terminal uh, p resistance and this 100 mega ohm is in parallel with this g uh, galvanometer so uh, to eliminate the effect due to this 100 mega ohm we should choose a resistance value uh, the p uh, resistance should be chosen in such a way that it is less than one tenth of this rag resistance so when we chose in such a way the effect due to this 100 mega ohm can be eliminated and uh, considering this 100 mega ohm this is in parallel with this galvanometer g normally we know the galvanometer uh, current is zero to have a zero current we will be having higher value of resistance here there will also be some sort of leakage current flowing through this rbg resistance also so uh, that leakage current will also have certain uh, effect uh, but the effect due to this galvanometer will be more so we can even eliminate this resistance so the uh, effect due to this 100 mega ohm is eliminated by choosing a proper value of p resistance and this rbg is also in eliminated so the only resistance what we are having is this 100 mega ohm that is the unknown resistance so by means of uh, eliminating these two uh, resistances we have a, uh, another modified circuit in this way so this is our modified bridge circuit for measuring this high resistance so in this modified bridge circuit we have a high value of voltage source so this circuit is supplied with a high voltage source for the bridge operation and here we have an electronic voltmeter to increase the sensitivity of this part so to uh, increase the sensitivity we make use of a, a amplifier and electronic voltmeter and here too we have a so when we look at this circuit so here too we have a decayed resistance box here depending upon the value of resistance here we can choose a particular tapping depending upon the value of resistance we are going to measure we can have a different tappings here and this resistor is also made use of for adjusting the resistance value since we know that r is equal to p by q into s so uh, this yes this is the uh, uh, tappings what we are having here and this q that's what we are going to adjust here so by means of adjusting this uh, s and q values we could able to find out the value of unknown resistance since this p is the known value by means of adjusting these two values we can able to find out the value of unknown resistance what we have connected here so the, uh, this is the method by which we can able to measure this high resistance value and uh, this method have a uh, 
higher accuracy. So by means of this mega ohm bridge, we can able to measure high resistance value with a uh, specified value of accuracy. So this is uh, about this mega ohm bridge method. So in our previous, in our next video, we shall discuss about the next method of uh, measuring high resistance that is the mega. So for more videos, keep watching. Please subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.